Welcome everyone. Um, in this short video, I will uh, talk to you about the uh, uh, ankle joint, which is, uh, I believe, is a continuation of the joint of lower limb. So, let me just quickly remind you, although you can um, uh, have a look for the, uh, there is a lecture about the bones of lower limb. However, but let us just in her remind you that this is the uh, these are tarsal bones uh, seven uh, in numbers uh, the superior one which is the talus that articulates with the fibula and tibia and this is the calcaneus the heel one the calcaneus articulates anteriorly with the cuboid and uh, the talus articulates anteriorly with the navicular bone and you know uh, the talus and the calcaneus are the uh, proximal group, navicular is the intermediate one, and the cuneiform starting from medial, intermediate, and lateral cuneiform plus cuboid, the, uh, they form the distal group. Of course, as I mentioned, there is a lecture in details about each bone. You can watch it, but just to... Uh, um, uh, as a brief introduction uh, before ankle joint. Here is a actually view for the ankle joint. You can see here is the tibia and fibula and look at the tibia medially. It ends by medial malleolus. As I mentioned, we can touch it and feel it's a very important a prominent landmark medially which is part from tibia. And laterally we have also very important landmark which is the lateral malleolus but it's part of the Fibula. Anyway, you can see that the tibia here and the fibula as well, they articulate with the talus. And you know, the talus articulate with the navicular bone. So here's another view, uh, lateral view is a tibia and there's the shadow of the fibula as you see, in which the both articulates with the snail-like bone, with the snail-like bone, which is the talus. Right, and you know the tails also articulates with the uh, calcaneus here and with the navicular bone anteriorly. Um, here is, uh, uh, let me show you here in which the tibia is the most uh, important bone in the leg, which is the largest one and the true weight bearing that carries the uh, uh, weight. So it has a medial malleolus. And laterally you have a fibula, and it has a lateral malleolus. Both they articulate with the uh, uh, with the talus. So the ankle joint is synovial joint. Which type of synovial joint? It's a hinge joint. That means it's like an elbow. So it permits just flexion and extension just but somebody can say what about eversion inversion rotation this is at the level i would say this is at the level of sub uh, of the subtalar uh, and calcaneonavicular uh, talo calcaneonavicular joint but at the level of ankle joint just a friction and extension so superiorly as i mentioned you have the lower end of the tibia uh, and of course the fibula here laterally and inferiorly you have the body of the tails so as a synovial joint it has uh, of course ligaments that stabilize this joint and very simple many students like uh, become confused because of uh, ankle joint but it's pretty easy follow me and let me show you how much it, it's really an easy topic you have ligaments medially and ligaments laterally i will start with the medial ligaments first of all when you say ankle and you mention the medial ligaments you have to remember that we call them deltoid this is very important deltoid ligament because it's one ligament but it has a triangular in shape that's why it's called deltoid ligament it has four parts right it has apex and four parts. Let me show you. Very simple. It's medial ligaments. That means you talk about tibia because the tibia is medially. That number one. So now that means the apex of the deltoid ligament attached to the tibia. Thank you so much. But what about the four parts or the pace? So 
you know that the tibia articulates with the talus. Where is the talus? Here is the talus. You see the talus? And it has anterior and posterior. What? Tibio tailor. Posterior, anterior, tibio tailor. So you have anterior and posterior tibio tailor. That's it. Between tibia and talus. Okay, what else? Between tibia and what? And calcaneus. Tibio, calcaneal ligament. This is number three. There is one extra here, which is between the tibia again and navicular bone. Because you know that talus articulates with navicular bone. So you remember that. So this is the tibio uh, navicular ligament. Again, erase these things and remember uh, these, uh, uh, let me show you these ligaments again. So you have uh, between tibia, all to the tibia, right? All to the tibia. But tibia to the um, talus, one posterior and one anterior. Tibio, uh, um, tibio talar ligaments. And you have tibio calcaneal. And you have tibio navicular. Thank you so much. Let me show you now. Uh, remember this. This is uh, like extra one. But remember before that, this is very strong. This is very strong ligament because they are four. And most importantly, they are attached to each other like it's a one ligament, right? Triangular one ligament, four parts. So laterally, uh, uh, you have such an inverted Mercedes sign. You know the Mercedes sign like that. So let us invert it and make it like this. So laterally, we have the same idea of medially, but they are three and they are separated. And because they are separated, they are weak. And so they are more uh, vulnerable and liable for injury and tear. So, let me show you these ligaments, like inverted Mercedes sign, one anterior, one posterior, one inferior. This is fibula, laterally, right? We call them lateral ligaments, right? Lateral ligaments. So you have the, the same, because the fibula articulates with the talus. So this is talofibular, we, anterior. We have posterior talofibular. So we have anterior and posterior talofibular and also with the calcaneus as the medium right so you have the calcaneo fibular very simple talus anterior and posterior and calcaneus calcaneo fibular so because they are separated so they are weak and more uh, vulnerable for injury and if you need extra information about that uh, let me show you let me give you this uh, uh, note for you the most even between these, uh, among these three ligaments, the anterior talofibular ligament is the weakest one also, and the most uh, liable one for injury. Look at it here. In case of extreme um, uh, inversion of your foot, like um, when you move it like that, so the anterior one can be, of course, uh, Tira and look at this case. How's the inversion, extreme inversion? So the anterior talofibular ligament is the most uh, vulnerable one to be injured. And as I mentioned, the medial one is very strong, in which sometimes the uh, fibula can broken, but this ligament will not in case of there is extreme inversion. So the movements at this joint because it's hinge joint, it's uh, flexion and extension. And when you talk about the ankle joint, you have to say dorsiflexion and plantar uh, flexion. And of course, if you want to move your um, foot up dorsiflexion, that means these muscles in the anterior compartment of the leg should be contracted, then pulled it up. On the other hand, and uh, if you uh, want to uh, 
uh, uh, uh, do a blunt reflection for your thought. So the muscles in the posterior compartment of the um, uh, of the uh, leg should be contracted and put in that way. So for those muscles, I'm mentioning those muscles, of course, written here. But we will, uh, I will leave it until we uh, finalize or uh, take the uh, leg and uh, uh, yeah, until we take the uh, leg. But anyway, you have to remember uh, it's inverted in the anterior compartment of the leg. They are extensor, right? Not like the forearm. In the forearm, the anterior ones. Are flexor but here's extensor here is the extensor and here is the flexor right that's it for the ankle joint uh, hope you find value in it thank you